Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City reunion part one. The first 20 minutes was all about Monica. And Andy said that he felt like she had a really honest moment when she was talking to her mother about buying the expensive purse because all the other ladies seemed like they had expensive things and they were living well and their children were well. They had beautiful homes. And she felt like this was a place that she didn't belong. So she was just trying to belong. Then they asked her about her relationship with Jen Shaw. She said that they were friends. She was her assistant, and then they were enemies. She said she worked for Jen for free because she was her friend. And then um, Heather asked her something about, did you think being Jen's assistant would get you far like Kim K? And then, of course, Monica said no, and then Heather pulled the phone out playing Monica's video where she said, look where Kim K is after being assistant. What do you think I can do? So she actually said that. She went round and round with Lisa about that $60,000 ring. Uh, I'm over Lisa. Lisa talked about that ring for so long. She said it was a gift from her husband because her son almost passed away and and she lost the ring and she has a new ring and it's I'm over the ring. So she talked about like her cheating with her brother-in-law, right? Uh, she says that she bore the scarlet letter and she still does to this day. She had to be rebaptized. She had to go to Mormon classes. Uh, she had to be interviewed and Heather was saying that she had to be accepted by the higher ups. And it's just easier to be Baptist because they cheat all the time and they don't even have to go back to church. So they played a montage in the second part, right? And it was um, Whitney versus Heather. Although they're cousins, they're not good friends. Then it was Meredith versus Lisa and they're working on something to get back together. And then it was Whitney versus Meredith with that bathtub and all that. They needed Monica this season. Because that little mashup with all the girls being into it about absolutely nothing, Monica was definitely needed. So they're talking about how Meredith handles things, right? Like Meredith just blows up and she doesn't tell them what's really going on. But the way she gets out of it and feels like she wins it is she just pull these situations out of nowhere. And they're standing there looking dumbfounded and nobody knows what's going on but Meredith. She does that all the time. Y'all heard what she did about when Whitney said something about a child and she lost it. Lisa is talking about how she and Meredith can mend better. Like, if it's something going on, let her know. You can talk another time. Lisa does not like to deal with anything. She likes to sweep it under the carpet because she said that she and Meredith have, have had so much that has happened, they just have to start anew. Like, they don't ever fix what's going on, and it always comes back up. And then when it does, she wants to sweep it under the carpet. Nothing ever gets done over here with them. Now, Lisa and Whitney are arguing back and forth about Lisa checking in with Whitney when her friend passed away. Like, Whitney got mad because Lisa asked her if she was okay more than once or twice. Do you see why we needed Monica in this season? Because after that first 20 minutes, this rest of this reunion is ridiculous. So now Lisa is going at Angie K because she said that Angie K made her feel stupid because when Monica said the rumor about Angie's husband, Monica said she said what she had heard. Lisa was upset because she felt like Angie K didn't have her back in that moment and she felt stupid for taking up for Angie K because at that time Angie K was cool with Monica because she had explained it. She's still talking. All of it was just a misunderstanding and a rumor that clearly Monica started allegedly. Lisa's mouth open right here is how it was the whole night, right? She cannot shut it. Even Monica asked her to do that. 
So she's saying that Whitney is saying that Lisa cannot accept anything. And when something goes on, she just shuts down. And she's like interrupting her and asking if she can defend herself and continues to talk after they've said let Whitney finish. But then she admitted that is exactly what I do. Lisa, y'all, this conversation, I'm fast forwarding. Ended with a whole bunch of talk about who said what about somebody else. And then they're going to talk about Monica again next week. But hold on. Join me tonight on Millie Chan TV on YouTube at 8 o'clock Central, 7 o'clock Mountain Time. That will be 9 o'clock Eastern. I'll be talking with Tanisha. This is Heather's hairstylist on The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I want to know. First of all, how she get to be Heather's hairstylist? And some more stuff. It's your girl Millie Chan. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.